A tour in 5D is anchored on the concept that New York is the center of modern culture. This centrality is made manifest in the works of art and architecture in Manhattan. Let's look at the visual information of the most emotionally charged center in this metropolis, the World Trade Center. Let us explore how that idea of centrality came to be both in the past and present. The Old World Trade Center, designed by Japanese-American architect Minoru Yamasaki, manifested a visual vocabulary that merged modernism with Islamic influences. He specifically mirrored elements and spatial arrangements of the Great Mosque in Mecca, the physical center of the Muslim spiritual tradition. For the facades of the Twin Towers, he created implied pointed arches derived from the characteristic pointed arches of Islam. Over these arches soared the pure geometry of the towers. These geometrical patterns doubled as a structural web and echoed the Islamic tradition of wrapping a powerful geometric form in a dense filigree, as in the inlaid marble pattern work of the Taj Mahal in India, or the ornate carvings of the courtyards and domes of the Alhambra in Spain. This shimmering filigree is the mark of the holy. According to Oleg Grabar, renowned and accomplished American scholar of Islamic art and architecture, the dense filigree of complex geometries alludes to a higher spiritual reality in Islam. On September 11, 2001, the world's attention was focused on this spot in Lower Manhattan. Energy flows where attention is directed. In our modern world, this directed emotionally charged attention made this site the most significant emotional center on earth. That centrality is made manifest in visual information there today in both man-made and natural elements. Reflecting absence is the name of the National 9-11 Memorial. Consisting of several elements, the most prominent features are two square recessed pools located at the footprints where the Twin Towers stood. They were designed by Israeli artist Michael Arad. The surrounding landscape was designed by American landscape architect Peter Walker. Along the edges of both pools are parapets with the incised names of all those who lost their lives on September 11, 2001 and in an attempt to destroy the towers in 1993. Looking at this memorial from an elevation, we see that the geometric forms of the pools echo the shape of the number 8 lying down. This is symbolic of infinity. Walking along the edges of both pools, passing all these names through our visual fields, we experience a contemplation that has a centering and stilling effect on our hearts and minds. The attacks on September 11, 2001 were attacks that tried to bring down the ideals that make America work. We overcame and, like a phoenix, from the ashes of those innocent individuals flourished a visual vocabulary that makes visible the strong connection we felt to this locale. It specifically connects us to the nearly 3,000 innocents that we know of who lost their lives that day that shall never be erased from the memory of time. There are other sites in Manhattan that have transcendental qualities like the National 9-11 Memorial. Watch my videos or participate in my in-season tours and I will show you sites that transcend our temporal realm of existence and reveal realities that typically lay unseen. Knowledge is power. A centered mind is a powerful mind. The tours I offer help you connect your understanding and see and experience this city for what it is the center of modern culture, the place where one can manifest an empire state of mind.